Hey there everyone, this is Scott, your Hoosier Marshal. Here on a hot Tuesday afternoon, it is uh, 3.30 in the afternoon and uh, it's about 84 degrees outside. I just got home from work, changed my clothes, come out in the barn to make a video and uh, it's about 95 in the barn so it, it's all opened up now, most of the way anyway. Uh, windows open, a few doors open, the fan running to get it cooled down in here today. I wanted to take the time to make a video. My new pipe, my new eBay estate pipe came today. It's this uh, little K. Woody Bulldog. I, uh, I ordered another one like a year ago from eBay and they, they, they described it as a squat bulldog. That one, the stinger system is missing out of it. This one actually has the stinger system. Uh, and I'll be sending this one to Paul Gilson to, for him to rehab a little bit. You can see the uh, bowl's been, kind of, especially right here, kind of nicked up. And, and uh, it came in in pretty good condition. The stem was not clocked right. And uh, I took a lighter, heated that up, and I clocked that myself. It's looking pretty good now. Um, but pretty nice little pipe pretty nice little pipe I like it it looks like it's been reamed a few times the bowl's a lot larger than my other one um, it's a K Woody super grain but uh, it's really really difficult to read what it, you probably can't even see it in this phone's camera but it's tough to see but it it does say K. Woody Super Grain, and that's all the markings that this little baby has on it. But I'm Paul has not rehabbed it yet. I need to get it off in the mail to him, but I'm pretty happy with it the way it is. Uh, it has some character, that's for sure. And I'll show you the one I bought a year ago. Similar, but the stem is different. I don't know, you can see the difference in the stem if I can not shake long enough for you to see. I don't know if one is original and one's not or if that's the way they both came and they're both original. I don't know, but they're, I, I was hoping this one would have a larger bull. I want a larger bull bulldog pipe, but I have these two little squat bulldogs. I'm not disappointed. I just wish the bull on the, the newer one was taller, but, uh, this one, you can actually read. I don't know if I can do any good if this even does anything for you. The lighting probably sucks. But it does say K. Woody Custom Grain, and you can tell the difference in the grains when you're looking at them. You can tell the difference. And on this side right here, it does say 98S, so it's a K. Woody 98S. Um, I would imagine that's what this one is too because they look the same except the difference in the grain whoops sorry get them both in the camera dumbass but uh this one you can clearly see the 98s on it this one it's not there so that's okay i'm not upset about that um it, the pipe came yesterday it came already cleaned and ready to go but i cleaned it again and uh i smoked I've smoked a few bowls through it, so I'll clean it again before I send it to you, Paul. But here's the original one I had, you can see. It needs cleaned, but somebody hacked off the stinger. That's a shame. <clears throat> I understand why, but uh, somebody hacked it off. This one is in a little better shape, but like I said, it's missing the stinger. I suppose I could take the, uh, I guess I didn't even try that. Let's take this one apart. I guess I'll experiment on camera. Take the stinger out of this one. Will it, it doesn't fit. It won't tighten up all the way. So there's a difference of some sort. There's that. So. 
I guess I learned something today. They won't interchange. I'm not upset with that. There's the my two little. Let me put this bad boy back together. It's like a kid in a candy store when a new pipe comes in the mail, even if they are old estate pipes. K. Woody, little bulldogs. They both smoke really well. Here she is. Do I look like Dave from St. David's Pipe? Dave, I don't know how you do it. Maybe with practice I can be a clincher, but I feel like I'm struggling to keep this thing in my mouth. It doesn't take much to make an old pipe smoker happy, even something as little as someone's old used pipe. And I've made several videos talking about different pipe tobacco blends. And uh, I always tell you that I just absolutely hate half and half. But I want to like it. I, I don't under, I can't explain it. I want to like it because all the years that my father was a pipe smoker, that's all he smoked. And I have so many memories of him getting that half and half can out, packing his pipe, lighting it, and smoking it. And uh, I was a kid in the, you know, 70s and 80s, basically. And uh, we would go on a trip in the family car me and my brother and my sister in the back seat, and my parents in the front, and my dad's up there, bumping away on his pipe, and the smoke's just coming back on us. No one thought anything about it. And I can still remember the smell. So this weekend, Mrs. Marshall and I spent at the campground I took a couple different blends to smoke and uh, we ran into town before we went to the campground. I stopped at a tobacco shop and look what I bought. So that the entire weekend all I smoked was half and half and uh, I'm not at the point where I can say it's now my favorite blend, but I can say I don't hate it. And the more time I spend with it, I'll probably smoke more of it and buy more and keep smoking it. It's one of those things, I don't know if it's just a mind game or something, or I, I just respect my dad and always looked up to him and I just want to be like him. even even though he's not here anymore and I'm almost 57 years old it's like a little boy you still want to be like your dad one thing I can say about this blend it burns really consistently evenly it doesn't give me tongue bite really no matter how fast I smoke it And it burns all the way to the bottom of the bowl to a fine ash. And as usual, it's Miller time. A little champagne of beers to go with it. And that's really cold. It tastes really good on this hot day. So I have uh, started going through and pulling some clips <clears throat> of you all 
for episode three of the WTF news channel. Um, I have a few little segments planned, but I need a little help from you folks. If uh, there's a video you made or you want to make a video um, that you'd like me to pull and use as part of that this week's news let me know I can do that Jonathan Piper X1X I need you to give me a weather forecast you are the chief meteorologist um, I have someone in mind to be your number two person and uh, I, I may throw that person in this video or I may wait until next week's episode and give Jonathan a break but if you would Jonathan Give me, give me a weather forecast to use. The Greg Tunnel. I'm sure it'll be a simple task for you. But you are our equal opportunity offender. And it sure would be nice if you offended someone so I could use that. So pretty much every time I've done this newscast or any of the other videos I've made, like when I interview people or something like that, I pretty much go into it with only a general idea. Like when I did the video where I interviewed Joe Biden, that was just my general idea of I wanted to do a video interviewing Joe Biden. And then I just pull the rest of it out of my ass as I go. I watch your videos and I see a little little portion of your video that that something goes off in my mind and I say I might be able to come up with something funny from that so that's what I do so I'll keep doing that but like I said uh, help me out um, make some things and let me know that you made them or if you see something in another person's video let me know and uh, can run with it I I'm doing this for you um, it's a way for me to put videos out there, but I'm trying to build our community um, and have fun with it. You folks that live in other countries, I try to I try to keep up with your stories about what's going on in your country, and I want to try to include that. So, if you put out a story or video let me know because um, I want you to be involved too you know probably the majority of us you know live in the United States but there is a large portion of you that do not and uh, I hear bits and pieces of what's going on in your country and your part of the world but I don't live it like you do so uh, I would be happy to add anything you wanted me to And uh, another thought I had was to do a cooking segment on the newscast. So uh, if you make a video where you're cooking something, which Potter Piper did uh, in one of his recent videos or maybe his last video. So guess who's going to be uh, in the cooking segment of this week's news. So um, I'll keep it short. I'll keep it there. I won't jump into politics today. Maybe in my next video, I'll stir the pot. But not today, I'll just keep it friendly. So, uh, until my next video, this is Scott, the Hoosier Marshal, coming to you from Northeast Indiana, saying make sure you take the time to tell those you love what they mean to you, because you never know when it just may be too late. Thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you.